I'm Anil Kumar and here is a practice test question on factory. We are given 125 over 216 times x over 12 minus 64 y to the power of 9. We need to factor this. You can use difference of cubes. a cube minus b cube could be written as a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Now in this particular case you can use calculator to check if 125 is cube of a number or not, right? See 5 cube is 125, correct? Similarly you could also check cube root, right? We'll check with cube root of 216 that is equals to 6. So 125 and 216 could be written as 5 cube over 6 cube. Now we have to write x to the power of 12 as a cube, so we could write this as x to the power of 4 and then we can cube it, right? So we get 12. 64 is 4 cube, right? So we can write this as 4 cube y to the power of 9, we could, return a, get, could be written as y cube and then cube that one. This expression now can be written as 5 over 6 x to the power of 4 everything as a cube right minus 4y cube whole cube correct now we can apply difference of cube and factor the expression so a minus p a is 5 over 6 x to the power of 4 for us that is a minus b which is 4y cube so that is a minus b times a square that means you need to square this when you square 5 what do you get you get 25 when you square 6 you get 36 when you square x to the power of 4 it becomes 8 so that is a square plus a times b so 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 6 that could be simplified so I'm actually okay let us write 20 by 6 for now okay x to the power of 4 y cube right so just multiply a and b and then b square plus 4 square is 16 and y cube square will give us y to the power of 6 now as I was saying we could simplify this a bit let us do that and write down our solution. So we get 5 over 6 x to the power of 4 minus 4y cube 25 over 36 x to the power of 8 we can divide both by 2 10 over 3 x to the power of 4y cube plus 16 y to the power of 6. So that becomes the factored form for the given expression. I hope that helps. Thank you.